Hi people, today I'm going to be checking out the new Humvee and the new paramedic boosters. So the Humvee here costs 9200 bucks, so uh, that makes it the most expensive car in the game at the moment. And it goes 55 speed, so that's actually really slow. Uh, it has 3200 health, so uh, hopefully that extra health makes up for the lack of speed. And also the, the windows are actually bulletproof. So you actually can't shoot through them at all, so uh, that's new for a civilian vehicle. And uh, anyways, we're going to take it for a spin, so we're going to try off-roading because uh, you'd think that the Humvee would be a good off-roader because it's a big SUV, but as you can see, it's a pretty poor off-roader. It's just really slow. Yeah. So the next test that we're going to be doing is the uh, bulletproof glass test. So we're going to see if they can shoot through the windows. Uh, yeah, as you can see, none of the bullets are actually making it inside. Actually, he keeps shooting the hood. You should probably get further away. Now I'm just going to run him over to make him mad. See, maybe if I run him over, that'll motivate him to shoot me more. Do it. Yeah, the windows are pretty much completely bulletproof, as you can see. Uh, nothing's making it inside. Yep. Oh no. Uh, it looks like we have to repair this thing, so... Uh, I guess that's gonna lead up to our next challenge. Uh, can we fit it inside the car dealer repair shop? Okay, we're here, so... Uh, my guess would be that it wouldn't fit in there because it's so big, but... Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna try to... Oh. Wait. Okay, it does fit in there. That's pretty good. So here's the other vehicle that they added in this update. Uh, it's a station wagon. It goes 70 speed. Uh, pretty much the same as the sedan. It's 1100 bucks, so... Uh, it's pretty cheap, and it has 1,200 health, so we're going to buy one of these and spawn it in. Yeah, as you can see, there's some fake wood on the side here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I like it. Uh, it's like a family car, but yeah, I'm going to see if my friends can get in here. There we go. And also, this car has five seats because... Uh, the middle seat is actually functional, so... Uh, yeah, normally it's just two seats in the back for each row, but this one has three. So it actually uses the same sounds as the uh, luxury car. Um, I mean, it sounds different from the sedan, but not bad. Uh, we're gonna blow this thing up now. Woohoo, we're being blown up. <laughs> Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm getting out of here. Yep, there we go. Hey, you actually had to pay me 825 bucks. That's funny. So the next thing that we're going to be checking out are the new paramedic health boosters and stamina boosters. So the health booster costs 1200 bucks and the stamina booster costs 900. So I'm going to equip one of these health boosters and it just gives you extra health. So, uh, shoot me. Bruh. So as you can see, the health booster, uh, honestly, it doesn't seem to do much. Yeah, I don't recommend it. It's kind of a waste of 1200 bucks, if you ask me. But anyways, here's the stamina booster. So as you can see, uh, if I run and jump around, I get pretty tired, and then I just have to walk, so... But if we take the stamina booster, uh, we have infinite stamina, so look, I can outrun these people. Yep, as you can see, uh, they ran out of stamina, while I still have plenty. That's funny. Now, the last thing that I want to show you guys is that uh, if you initiate voting on yourself, uh, you have to give a reason, so you just have to type something at least 20 characters long. They can start voting. Uh, you can't initiate a voting on yourself multiple times. 
Okay, that's actually great. So, uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, a lot of people actually use auto clickers to keep voting themselves in, but now you have to keep typing, and also you can't do it multiple times in a row, so uh, it's actually way better now. Uh, I'm glad that they added that, but uh, I'm gonna have to have someone else try to be mayor. Okay, I just had my friend do it, so now uh, I can get people to vote for me. And as you can see, uh, your reason just appears below. Uh, I just spammed a bunch of letters. So now they should vote for me. Okay, great. Now I'm the mayor, so uh, I can show you the new stuff that the mayor can do. So you can actually... Uh, so you can actually allow killing of civilians in proximity. So that means if there's actually... So if there's a bunch of civilians surrounding you... Uh, like if they just like if they're threatening you with guns, you can actually press this, and then uh, any government teams can actually kill them. So uh, it costs two thousand bucks, but uh, if you really don't want to get assassinated, then you can do that. Another thing, uh, you can modify team limits, so you can actually uh, so you can actually uh, choose how many how many people can be on a team. So. Oh, let's see, advanced car dealer. If I want to minus two, I can do that. Then military, if I want to add two, bam. If I want to, yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's how it works. You can, you see, you have to sacrifice people from another team if you want to add people to another team. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but yeah, that's how it works. Well, anyways, uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and comment down below what you guys want to see me do next in Anomic. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.